All right, in a county planning department is a selecting a location for a rural filer station. The station must be the same distance from each of the three towns it serves. Now the towns are located at 2, 7, 2, negative 3, so these points that are marked here, and negative 6, negative 3. What's the best location for the fire station? And how far will that station be from each town? And their hint is to, on the diagram, find the coordinates of the point, question mark, question mark, the center, and then find the radius of the circle. Now we talked about if you have three points on the edge of a circle and you make a triangle by connecting those points, the center of the circle will be wherever the perpendicular bisectors intersect. And they drew the perpendicular bisector for me here and here for two of the sides. Wherever they intersect, that should be the center of our circle. And that looks pretty accurate, right? Well, that location is the point negative 2, 2. That would be the best place to locate the fire station because it's in the center. It's an equal distance from every single town. So the first part of my answer is that the station should be located at the point negative 2, 2. Okay, and I know it's negative 2, 2 because I marked it and it is 2 to the left and up 2 from 0, 0. Now I need to find the radius. Now we're used to counting over to find the radius. Problem is, notice this is just a little bit past the grid here. Okay, and same when I go down, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, ah, and a little bit more. So we're going to have to use the distance formula to find the radius of this circle. Um, we want to find the distance from the center to any point on the edge. They gave us three points on the edge, so let's just use one of them. Okay, so again, I'm going to use the distance formula that we studied earlier in the course. The distance is x minus x squared plus y minus y squared. You can also actually use, some of you liked using the Pythagorean theorem better, okay, so you can um, use this right triangle in the Pythagorean theorem, but I'm using the distance formula. Okay, so we're supposed to do x minus x, so x from our first point, let's say here is 2, minus the x from our second point, our center was negative 2 squared plus the y from our first point was 7 that we're finding the distance between and the y from our second point our center is 2. We subtract those or we simplify here minus 2 minus a negative 2 becomes 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 is 4 7 minus 2 is 5 we want to square both of those. 4 times 4 is 16, and 5 times 5 is 25. And then we go ahead and add 16 plus 25. And that gives us 41. Now, 41 does not have a perfect square root, so I'm just going to leave it as the square root of 41. If you wanted the exact answer, you could do square root of 41 on your calculator, and it looks like it's about 6.4. So the station would be about 6.4 miles from each town, or the square root of 41. Okay? And it should be centered on the grid at negative 2, 2. Again, and that will be a distance of the square root of 41, which is 6.4 from each. All right, so here's an example, um, a real-life example. Hundreds of stone circles exist along the Gambia River in western Africa. The stones are believed to be a 1,000 years old. In one of the circles at Kerbach, three stones have approximate coordinates of 3, 1. I'm going to put these on the graph. 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, negative 2, and negative 6, negative 2. Okay, let me just double check, make sure I put those all in the right places. Okay, what are the coordinates of the center of the stone circle? Now remember, our property tells us that if we draw it would be best to use a straight edge. <laughs> we draw, use a straight edge to connect these dots and form a triangle. The center of the circle that they are on okay, will be negative 
wherever their perpendicular bisectors intersect. So I'm going to draw the perpendicular bisector for this line because it's fairly simple. I want to find the middle. Okay, so it's 10 long, so I want 5 from each edge. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right in the center. So notice this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from this end and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from this end. It's right in the middle. I want it to be perpendicular, so form a right angle. So there, right there, is my perpendicular bisector for that side. To that, I want to connect um, and find the perpendicular bisector for one of the other sides of my triangle. Okay, let's go ahead and try doing the this one. So the midpoint would have to be right in between here and here. So it's going to be halfway right about there is the midpoint of that line. I want to make a line perpendicular to it. So I can do that using my slopes. Remember slopes of in perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals. And this line goes down one, two, three and one to the right, so we want to do exactly the opposite of that. We want to go down one and three to the left. So down one and over one, two, three, and draw our line. Wow, look at that. There's our perpendicular bisector for that side. Where do they intersect? Right here on this line. They intersect at the point, in fact, negative one, negative two, and that should be the center for our circle. So let's go ahead and draw a circle. Okay, and see if that's what we have come up with. Again, not a great circle drawer by hand. <laughs> okay, so notice there's the center of our circle, and our center of our circle is at negative 1, negative 2. I know it can be challenging to draw a perpendicular bisector. If we had a compass, um, it would help. Um, but again, um, <clears throat> here's the middle. And I went straight up from there. There's one perpendicular bisector. I just needed the perpendicular bisector from any other side. I used this side, and I want to see where they intersect. They intersected right there at negative 1, negative 2. So the center of that stone circle would be at negative 1, negative 2.